So the disadvantages, the main disadvantages are that first of all, it's very slow because um, it's very systematic. So you cannot just skip certain things. Secondly, it's, it requires a lot of planning because for example, if you want to build a system, you need to plan or you need to know every single feature that would go into the software. Let's just think about it from the concept of uh, WhatsApp. WhatsApp is not, was not built using a waterfall module. The reason is this, at every point in time, there's a new feature that comes up. And so basically if it's a lot of plan driven, then it means that it would have, thought about every single feature before they roll it out, but they didn't do that. They decided to go flexible and then they do it as they go. With waterfall module, there's also, like I said, a lot of dependencies. So basically you cannot do another stage without doing the, uh, the previous stage. So you need stage one before you go to stage two. And that makes it a bit rigid because then if at any point in time, something gets stuck at one stage, there's no way we can continue with the development stages would have to wait for one stage to be done. And sometimes it could take a long time. And the ch another challenge is that sometimes if you're building a system that is supposed to be built um, very fast, then um, because of the fact that it takes a long time to do, the, the software that you're trying to build become obsolete before it even gets to um, say deployment. And that's also a big challenge. 